Extra, extra, read all about it. Cancer, this is all about you. How are we here already? How? I just remember putting up the last cancer video. I, it's like, I feel like it was just like a second ago. It's crazy. A week has passed, man. A week has passed. Cancerians, this is not a horoscope. This is an intuitive oracle card reading. I'm going to pick up on the energies influencing and affecting Cancerians. So it applies to wherever cancer influences your life, wherever in your natal chart, or if you're dealing with a cancer, wherever it applies. No dates on the videos, but I do make a new cancer video every single week. So if you really want them hot off the press, please subscribe to the channel. You will help the channel grow and you will get the uploads as long as you ring that bell right down below. You'll get all the uploads as soon as I upload them. Yes, there is an extended this week, just like there is every single week. And what the extended does is it broadens, expands, and specifies. We get into nitty gritty specifics up in there with the tarot energy. That link is below and it always includes your full romantic predictions as well. Cancerians, let's go. Cancer, what is influencing and affecting you today? Learn and letting it go. Letting sh go that does not serve you, right? That's what's influencing you. That's what's affecting you. And your courage and ability and fortitude to move forward is what's going to make or break you. Hold up. Crowning your energy. Six. The energy of knowing yourself, being whole within yourself, earth and love. This is La Vie en Rose, an energy of love, adoration, admiration, that very much Venus, Venetian love, but it's also love of beauty, okay? It's love of beauty and basing your partnerships on that love of beauty, beauty and glamour, not necessarily pure and complete and total connection that has become burdensome. There has something in your love life or in your heart space, or your idealisms that has become burdensome to you Cancerians. And this is something that maybe you don't like to see or don't like to know. Cross watchers will probably be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But Cancers will be like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm That's what's happening. Holding on to an ideal. You're holding on to an ideal and they're dragging your ass down. That's what's going on. This is Cancerian energy and Libra energy, right? It's like, it's like somehow feeling or thinking like shit's supposed to be easy. That's the only way it can be good, right? That's immature. So the mature energy is how do I handle my burdens? Sometimes I let them the go. Right? Because the ideals are becoming a burden to me. Maybe not the relationship or the job or whatever you're dealing with itself, but the idealisms are becoming a fucking burden to me. Me feeling like I have to be the ideal is a burden to me. The ideal. Get. Like, you gotta let, let that shit go because it's dragging your ass down. You, you're thinking, oh, when I was a little tadpole, I was so cute. Oh, I just wish that I was, wish that you were what? Stuck underwater, susceptible to the tides, being pushed and pulled whichever which way, probably food for somebody. You're a frog now, oh, but frogs are ugly. Frogs are cool as fuck. They can leap, they can swim, they can walk. They can do so much more than a tadpole can. Who cares that they're not as cute? They're cooler. This is about letting go of the ideal. See how it came up upside down? Right, because the ideal has been broken. It's like, oh. If you kiss enough frogs, you'll finally find your prince. Maybe you need, well, maybe the frog is your prince. 
Maybe it's the little guy with warts that's actually going to love you better and more than anybody that you've ever known in your entire life. It's just holding on to this ideal of, no, 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 it's not supposed to have a wart. No, no, no. Why not? Beauty is in the connection. Beauty is in the truth. There is nothing more beautiful than truth. And love is not about thrills. Love is about connection. And connection only happens when you're honest. So this is about letting go of the ideals. That's the energy crowning your reading. And then check it out. We have these two cards that flew out. Courage. Having the strength and fortitude to see forward and move forward. Even if it means letting go of something you thought was going to be. Should have been so beautiful. Should have been so right. But when we really are alive, we don't live in should have been. We live in right now. What it is. And if we can't find beauty in the frog, then we were always living in a dream. If you want to stay asleep for your whole life, fine. But me up in here, this is the woke club. Okay? So this is about having the courage to move forward and shine. And when you have courage and you believe in yourself and you are strong enough, to live in the now and move forward. You shine bright. You shine like a star. You get recognized for being bold and gorgeous and beautiful. You get the recognition when you allow yourselves to be true and honest and mature and love who you are instead of holding on to an ideal. It takes strength and courage to shine. But this is about knowing yourself. This is about being in the spotlight or really shining because you were courageous enough to love who you are. Not to try to be something else or try to be living as something else or faking it, faking it, faking it. Yeah, I hear you fake it till you make it. That's a strategy, man. That's a strategy and it's cool. It's cool as, man, we really do fake it till you make it work sometimes, right? Yes. But that's just because inside we're not being fake. You know what I'm saying? It's just like we've made a decision. I'm going to be happy. Even if I don't feel happy, I'm going to be happy. So I'm going to smile outside first. So the smile goes on the inside. It's a choice. That's a choice though. It's part of our strategy. This is about all that you are. Loving who you are. And looking forward. And you shining like a star. Being really recognized for your courage. And your honesty. This is the energy of three plus seven equals 10, which is something is coming out. Something is matured. It's come to fruition. And then five plus nine is the energy of 14. One plus four is five. Change. Something is changing in your star status, baby. Wish is coming true. This is Aquarius energy. Think of the star card. Like wish is coming true. This is also Aquarius energy, but it's in reverse. You see clearly now. You don't get it, do you? See, this right here tells me that you still have a focacked way of thinking about what is amazing and what is courage and what is bravery. This is being lost in the dark, being unwise, being impulsive or, um, yeah, not, not knowing which direction to go, being very confused. But I'll tell you something, and I just talked about this on my daily, Cancerians. Confusion is an outcome. It is not a thing itself. Confusion is an outcome that happens when we know what we want. But we let somebody else talk us out of it. And now we're confused. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why? Because you let fear talk you out of what you know you already want. You let logic Talk you out of what you really want. Cut that shit out. You know who you are. 
You need to be who you are out loud. Truthfully, honestly, not pretending or faking or living up to somebody else's version of you. Hmm. I'm curious, Cancerians. Co-create with spirit is your central energy. Seven plus one is eight. Eight is destiny. This is divine intervention on your behalf. So whether you know it or not, something just happened to you that was for your own good to wake you up. So you could feel it inside of you and speak your truth because you can't see it outside. You probably don't even see this coming. You probably don't even see you, this coming. You're being going to be swipe, side swiped by you leading the way and being victorious. You don't even see it coming. You don't see it, but you feel it and you hear it inside of you. This is aligning and following in faith and following in spirit, following the inner voice. Ooh, time to heal. This is kundalini energy. Maybe sexual tension or energy building up deep inside your gut, deep inside your groin. Is it going to kill you and poison you? Or is it going to be thrust out of you and be basically be your engine? That fire that, that drives you forward. It depends on how you use it. Could also be that energy of feeling controlled, controlled somehow sexually, manipulated or allowing your own sensuality to control you instead of fueling you and pushing your life forward. The energy of five, five, that's definite change, man. But it adds up to 10, which is once again, this energy over here, completion, maturity, Hmm. Good grounding energy. Grounding energy. We need two more cards. One, two. I always finish, I always finish the shuffle. Always. Okay. All right. Just in case. Somebody's wearing a mask. This is pretending, pretending. Fitting in, not seeing. Or only feeling safe to see when you have your mask on. Hiding, putting on a good face. You know, I'm going to put on my face before I can walk outside. This is the masks that we wear every single day. And destiny. What is fated? Life is a mystery. In other words, you still don't get it. There's still something here that you don't understand. Something is still hidden from you. There's pieces of information that you don't get because your destiny isn't fully and completely revealed to you yet. Something has been building up slowly but surely. Underneath the surface, afraid, hidden, hiding itself because it knows if it comes out, it's going to get eaten alive. It feels like if it comes out, it's going to get eaten alive. It doesn't know its own strength. And so it stays quiet and it builds and it builds. Can be resentment. Could be issues, could be stress. 
could even be doing something little by little, little by little, but never really announcing it. You're just keeping it hidden and it's continuing to build and build and build and coil and it wants to break out of you. Why? Because the toxins are going to start going, the venom is going to start going inside of you. There's got to be a time when you come out and let the world know and let the world see who, what, who it is you are. Not afraid to mess up, not afraid to fail, not afraid to not live up to somebody else's ideals. But instead, let yourself be who you are, warts and all. Warts and all. You've learned from the past, learn from the past. Maybe this is something that's cyclical. It's a cycle that you've been going through over and over again. This is your part of your grounding energy, the energy of five plus seven, that you've been working to understand this, working to heal it, moving forward. Learn that you've been learning, that you have been growing. This is growth. This is development. This is maturity. This is maybe a mother energy, family energy, knowing who you are, where you come from, is grounding you. This is upside down, scarab beetle. Magic works through you, but it's in reverse. This is your energy, Cancerians. So something is up. You don't know your own strength. You don't know your own power. You don't understand it. But maybe right now, especially for this week, you need a little bit of help from outside. You need a little bit more structure and support. Because you are scared. You don't know your own strength. You need to be reminded who you are spurred back to life or this is spirit coming in and going Zzz, helping you out this is your central energy too messages coming in inspiration coming in to inspire you to give to you to help you i do feel like help is coming at least in terms of inspiration To remind you who you are. And that's what this card is. Remember, Simba, who you are. Remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Remember all you've been through to get where you are today. You're going to stop. And then you let all the distance you've covered be from nothing. Finding a way to go forward, move forward, be inspired to move forward. Even despite the fact that maybe you don't feel like you live up to your full expectations of yourself. If you forget about the expectations that you have of yourself, let them go and just think about what inspires you and focus on what it is that you actually love to do. You have the knowledge to do it. You have the fortitude, you have the skill set. Hold on, I want to review the cards. Lord, don't that raven just stand out right there in the center. That is the death of something old. That is coming out of the dark. Speaking yourself out loud, saying who you are completely. Not being ashamed of not living up to somebody else's ideals. Letting go of that past connect. Letting go of that those expectations of you. Or your need to be connected or tethered to a partnership. There's some sort of, I'll tell you right now, there's some sort of old partnership here that needs to be relinquished and let go of. Because it's become burdensome. It started to make you feel ugly and that you're not good enough to not be able to see your true shine and your true beauty or know everything that it is you are started to diminish you and poison you you can't even see it because it's been building this it's been hiding something has been hiding something has been building the poison has been hiding and steadily building inside of you little by little by little trying to reshape you, maybe in an image that it makes it feel comfortable. But Cancerians, your instincts have already picked up on it. Why are you still in the room? Mm. 
Unless you've just decided to fight and say, ah, ha, 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 you don't know me. And that's when you use that kundalini energy. That's when you use it for your own good and say, ha, 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 you don't know me. You don't know what I've been hiding. You don't know what I know and the help that I have. You didn't know your own strength. Or you hid it so well from everybody else, you forgot about it for a while. But now it's coming out. And it starts with letting go of a need for connection. Now, I mean, not to say that you shouldn't be connected to people. Of course not. Um, but a need for ideal, for beauty, la vie en rose. Letting it go. Being like, oh, no, no, no. You think you need to see me in a certain way? I need to look a certain way? I need to be a certain way? No, 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 no. You love me warts and all. You love my truth. This is divine timing. The divine is putting you to this test, Cancer. They're forcing you into this corner so you become the beast you were meant to be. Needs you. The world needs you to be the beast you were meant to be. That creature of instinct that will believe and wipe out all those small things that causes pain. Mm. Your biggest enemy this week is you. It's true. Or somebody a lot like you that you're dealing with. Not really wanting to let them go. But knowing that you haven't been who you completely are right now. Or wanting, wanting so badly for them to see. What a bad decision they're making. <laughs> but you can't do that. They got to see it themselves. And there's a hidden danger here. There's a hidden poison. Could be walking right into... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. You know what? Eventually you're going to learn. You're going to get it. I'm going to go into the... Um, uh, oh, oh. Popping out already. Damn. Cancer. We want to talk. I'm going to go over to the extended. Let's look into your romance too. I'll talk to you. The link is below, guys. I'll talk to you over there.